Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anime Watch and I'm back with another strap fashion show for this awesome baby G that I've got some I've got I think I've bought this in Japan somewhere like two years or two and a half years back maybe in somewhere 2019. So I've got this for about just 10 US dollars in <laughs> on on at one of those um at what they call it flea market no boot sale or something like that uh, on in japan right so at the end of 2019 so yeah that is the first time ever i've got i've gone to that uh, yeah now 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 I remember. it's it was at a flea market somewhere in tokyo japan i can't really remember the, 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 the name of the place but yeah still if i've got the chance to go back to japan that would definitely be one of my top list to go so top place of places to go right so 10, 10 bucks for this awesome <laughs> bg what was it bg 180l so it came on this um what do you call this adapters right so this version also have that um the, the strap version but mine come with this adapter style version and it came with a full leather style strap full leather bun 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 style strap and yeah that one is you know what it's in uh, quite a hideous condition that is why i took it off and I wanted to show you that you can put it on quite a lot of um, strap options here, right? So, you know what? Let's do a quick dimension check because I haven't really done this before, I think. So, this one uh, is about 34 millimeters in diameter, right? So, if you count, if you don't count this bulge on the buttons here and the thickness is about 13.1 uh, and the luck to luck if i want to measure it on this uh, pins here that will be about 40 millimeters and if you count this um what do you call this uh, adapters it's about 49 millimeters so although it is small and small uh yeah but it does look big so which is very very good because us guys you don't really wear baby g's so but if you do this is one of the best models that if you can still find uh, it is a great option right so first up is this oh before we do that let's do a quick swatch check today i'm wearing my casio a171 e was it i can't remember but yeah i've i've, I've I love the shape and the bracelet of this guy, but I I just hate the the pathetic um, light that came with this particular model, right? So anyway, please do check out my full review of that watch and Leah. Let's get back to the strap fashion show. So we have ten uh, straps here to play around with. So the first uh, strap is a strap from San Martin watches, I think. So you can get this uh, around ten bucks on AliExpress. And yeah, it is very, very nice and soft and supple um, straps. And uh, this is a seat belt style strap. So yeah, and it has this uh, two piece style strap, which is, well, of course, it will add some thickness to the watch, but it is quite a small and chunky little watch. So it's gonna suit fine, right? So again, uh, no, no sign here, no sign keepers here, brushed uh, hardware on the buckle and also on these two keepers here. And this super duper shiny, colors really really matches this um vintage uh, maybe vintage maybe less than maybe less I, I can't remember guys so maybe this watch is about more than 10 years definitely more than 10 years but uh not 20 years back so, you know what i think i definitely need to go back to japan and discover all of this these nuggets of you know treasures that you would find on the japan second secondary market right so yeah I, second hand markets i should say yep so i think this new silver shiny strap really really plays well with this um aesthetic of this uh, particular watch and yeah let's go to strap number two which is a dark gray so this one is a silver colorway or gray colorway which has this sheen to it but if you we move away from that shininess and let's go with something a lot more military it should look so this is uh from rsm watch strap.com a company based in singapore so they produce this style of i'll say this uh, engraved stripe pattern right so where we have this uh, circular holes here and the material itself is quite tough it feels expensive and we have uh, this adjustable strap here so where you can adjust uh, according to your wrist size uh, fixed keeper here of course it, it holds the at the end of the strap and a movable keeper here and you pass through this particular style of buckle and we have that rsm 
where the walrus logo right so it's just quite simple with this one just slip through to this side and boom you are good to go this is why i prefer this uh, single pass straps you know what because it is very very easy to use so i'm not going to be put out uh, you know what let's just put it on let's see how this uh, single pass strap makes the watch feels a lot more uh, comfortable rather than using that um, double pass strap right so let's just this is how it goes and yeah i just love this style of strap so you can see that this one uh, has a brush uh, finishing on the top of these keepers but on the side it is it is actually poly so yeah multiple finishing so it definitely has that um how to say much much more expensive look to it so yeah this is from rsmwatchstrap.com right so i will of course leave a discount code and everything inside the video description so please do check them out so let's go to the next one which is this call i think they call this uh herringbone strap so we have this zigzag patterns here and again similar buckle to that one uh yep similar finishing as well brush and uh, polish finishing on the side and similar system but it, it this time it comes with a different style of material quite thick at about maybe 1.5 millimeters and you know what the green color looks really really nice with this um with this um aging <laughs> i think when it was new it is maybe in i don't know in silver but of course due to, due to the aging of the plastic it becomes a little bit uh, yellowish or brownish so i think this brownish looks well with this uh, green colorway right so i'm not not gonna be putting it on the wrist because yeah i think it, it it looks it feels the same and wears the same right so yeah this is how it looks on this uh baby g right so let's take it off and put it on another strap which comes from another company in singapore which they call themselves lovewatchstrap.com so we have this um, luffy logo from the animation uh, one piece animation so again similar style pattern here where we have this adjustable straps system here this time around the, the material is quite soft and supple bit maybe about 1.2 millimeters in thickness so and the uh the, the the most common issue that i have with this type of strap is that the holes right so it's not really that um, it won't really test it won't really last that long but yeah you could always use a lighter and take off all the uh, fraying from the holes but yeah you need to be careful of that i think these things cost less than 20 bucks so yeah still it is what it is so yeah i think this colorway this brown and beige colorway looks really really matching with that with this two thing here baby g and short resist on the watch and yeah i think it looks cool you know what let's just put it on the wrist and see how it looks like because this is a lot thinner compared to the um to the previous uh, straps right so okay so when you wear this single pass strap so you definitely you don't have that much of a thickness on your wrist compared to this double pass strap and yeah you can see that it sits really really nice on my uh, 6.75 inches and i just love how you can put quite a lot of straps on this particular baby g right so that is from lovewatchstrap.com but if you don't want to get it from them you can always get something in blue and black and also in beige from this one is from nomad watchworks.com again similar style pattern uh, strap i just show you guys it show you show you in a different colorway so if it is only blue i i don't i won't i don't think it will match this particular watch but it has that beige uh, colorway in the center so that makes it look um, match to this uh, matchy matchy to this <laughs> badge, baby g right so this uh, again similar pattern adjustable what but without any logo whatsoever on this particular watch but yeah still i think nomad watch works really need to put start putting their logos on their strap right so what about leather then leather strap so this one is from vario singapore this this i think they call this um what was it crazy horse single pass strap so this one in i think they call it gray right so we we have this vario sign logo on the buckle here fixed keepers here and a movable keeper on just one side right so quite a thick leather strap with uh, circular holes here and of course uh, who wears a leather strap on a g-shock so i do <laughs> so you know what you really wear what you like and how you want to wear it so yeah i think that this leather strap really, really plays well with this baby G. Right, so let's just put it on and see how it looks on my wrist. So I am on the 
normally if I put this on a normal you know normal watch it my the whole I would be on the fifth hole but this since this is a G show and it only uh, has it is very very short uh, watch so I'm on the third hole but no matter no problems because you can just slide it into that uh, first keeper and slide it into the second keeper and tuck it okay so you can see that there are tons of materials left if you go for this particular watch right so particular strap so you can just slide through to make it yeah to get make it much comfortable and yeah i think this is one of a great option for this particular baby g right so that is a leather strap and let's go for something else from vario singapore which is one of their uh, my favorite strap of there so this is i think they call this ballistic nylon so we have quite a thick um single pass strap again but not the uh, seat belt style material but this is quite a how to say it it feels robust it feels more military look and of course we have that <laughs> sergeant sergeant patch on this end of the strap of course single pass strap uh zuru style keeper here with a stitch uh stitch hardware here and of course uh, we have vario uh, logo sign up top right so let's put it on the wrist and yeah i think this is one of the way that you could make your watch looks like it is being used by military right so yeah i think that <laughs> looks cool way too cool in my opinion and let's just uh, put it on the wrist and see how it looks right so i am on the yeah let's go for the fourth hole the material is tough and durable but it's just not that it's not that thick in my opinion and still very very much usable on daily basis and yeah i just love how it looks let's just tuck it back in to the second keeper like so and yeah you are good to go yeah that looks oh man that looks absolute killer in my opinion i just think that this uh, sergeant patch really um really you know what advanced enhance the uh, look of this particular strap right so let's go to strap number eight which is another strap from a strap maker that i I know I really really love to buy so this is from um, cheapersnizzlestraps.com so you can see that we have that CNS logo there so we have this what do you call this camouflage single pass strap so fixed keepers here movable keeper here and check out that camouflage pattern guys so <laughs> green beige uh, brown and black plays really really nice with this um, not really i don't really think any military is going to be using any baby g anytime soon but you know what it i think it fits the bill right so yeah very very nice looking in my opinion of course the material is not as shiny as those but yeah still still soft and supple and easy to use on the wrist right so yeah check out that military look on the baby g so something doesn't really really <laughs> sound good when we you combine baby and military right so baby military <laughs> that sounds really really weird okay so let's put it here and adjust the second keeper so that you can make sure that it doesn't float around so yeah this is how it looks yeah i think that looks awesome in my opinion yep let's go to the ninth strap which is another strap in the series from from cheapest straps.com i think they call this Mm, I'm not really sure. Is it Seamaster or Bond? Is it, was it Seamaster? I can't remember. Uh, the material is almost the same to this one, but I don't know. It feels a lot softer. I'm not really sure what uh, compound or material that, that Sophie used. And yeah, fixed keepers, one movable keeper here. Again, similar to design to that one, but yeah, it features a normal, a bit more normal uh, material compared to this one. This is a little bit thicker and this is a bit thinner, but yeah, still a very soft and supple. Of course, we uh, cheapest cheapest little strap dot com. They all they always have that um, sales going on now and then, and I think now they are having a sale. I'm not really sure how much are this going to cost, but uh, when at the time I bought it, it cost me about seven bucks each. And of course, with cheapest little strap dot little straps dot com, you're gonna have that twenty percent discount all year round, right? So yeah, this is how it looks. I'm not gonna be putting it on the wrist, but yeah, still very very nice option if you want to go for those that kind of colorway all right so what about red color then so this is a strap from springmateshop.com was it yeah i think it's i'm, I'm sorry i string made springmateshop.com a company out of a company out of america i think 
they are based in Austin or Texas. I can't really remember, but yeah, still, I feel that, you know what, let's just break away from that earthy color tone and bring something bright to the studio here. And you can see even on this quite mundane look on the watch, and I think red still suits it. And this one is unique because we have this um, unique keeper system here. Let's, let me just show you how it works. Basically, what you do is... <laughs> Hopefully, I can do this in one go. So you just have to slide it through this keeper, right? So that is number one. And after you've got your perfect fit, you could just have to lift this bit here to make sure the, slap, uh, the strap pass through that particular bit while getting it through the first keeper and the second keeper. Put it through and slide it out. Slide, oops, okay, great. Okay, okay, okay. Slide it back in. Yep. Yeah, that is how I did. <laughs> Quite difficult, but of course there are no holes here, guys. So that is why you need to do this. And yeah, I I prefer this uh this materials. So this hardware is at the bottom of my wrist, and this is where you have a clean look to the strap without any buckle or hardware. Uh, you know what on this particular surface of the watch right so yeah i think that looks good in my opinion what do you guys think and yeah that's it guys so this is my 10 straps selection for this awesome um baby g that not many people have <laughs> not many people have uh, talked about and yeah i happen to find this gem in in japan so i really really want to go again to japan and go to that particular flea market and get many more of these hidden gems right so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye